Hey gamers, Dozer from GG back with another how-to video. This time me and my buddy Ted are going to show you guys how to use the ZS NES emulator and log me and Hamachi to play multiplayer Super Nintendo games on PC. Uh, what you're going to need to download is the ZS NES emulator and you want to get version 1.36. I'll provide links below in the video. And you want to download Log Me In Hamachi. And then once you have both of these, you want to fire up a server on Log Me In Hamachi and make sure the person you want to play with is connected to you in there. And then you want to head into the emulator. And on Ted's end, he's going to fire up Mario Kart for us right now. And I'm going to go to the internet. And then I just hit Connect to Server. You can put in the nickname, that's optional. And then once you're connected, you can see that me and Ted can actually chat in here. So we're all connected. We know that the server's up and running. And he's going to load the game on his end. And what you need to keep in mind with this is you cannot use different game files. You have to make sure that you are both using the same ROM that you want to play. Otherwise, it will not work. If they're different versions, or one is American and one's Japanese, they will not be compatible. So definitely share the files with each other so you can make sure that they're all timed out and mapped out correctly. And me and Ted are going to take a quick versus match here, just to show you that it plays good. You go ahead and pick the level, Ted. Yeah, love this map. And as you can see, the good thing about using Hamachi as the server client is we don't get any lag in here. Games all seem to run fairly smooth. My controller configuration is just a bit off, though. Ted's wailing on me while he's on a keyboard. <laughs> oh! Dozer fall down. Yeah, for some odd reason, gamers, I noticed that since I have my Xbox 360 pad configured to the emulator, it'll only let me link it to the analogs. It won't let me put it on the actual D-pad itself, so games with steering and very specific controlling to Super Nintendo games you're more than likely gonna have a little bit of trouble if your steering is just a little off because I'm personally better in this game with a d-pad <laughs> even better if some of you out there have the Super Nintendo USB controller I've actually seen that on the internet a few times I know they make them I think I have a couple friends that own them so definitely look into one of those. Get a vintage controller with its own USB port set up. And thank you guys for sitting through the video and watching one of the worst Mario Kart races I've personally ever been involved in. <laughs> so have fun gamers. If you have any questions, feel free to message me and check out GG Gamer Tube and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I will see you on my next video. Thanks everybody. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and sign up now at ggamer.com.